If you are looking for a mood booster right now, maybe something that feels like a big warm hug celebrates the Christmas spirit and also the power of love, then you absolutely have to check out the new Netflix series, Dash and Lily. The show is based on the book Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, and it stars Austin Abrams and Midori Francis as the title characters. Lily is super bubbly and absolutely oozing with Christmas spirit. It's her favorite time of year, but things aren't quite the same this year, with a whole bunch of her family opting to spend the holiday elsewhere. Meanwhile, Dash is a bit of a loner and a holiday Grinch. However, when he finds a mysterious notebook left in the Strand, he winds up writing back and forth with Lily, with each of them challenging the other to try new things and grow close in the process, all without ever meeting face to face. I know the effect that a hit Netflix series can have, and maybe in particular a series in the young adult category, and if Dash and Lily catches on, and I do think it will, it's going to be a major star power boost for Abrams and Francis, and they deserve for that to be the case. I've watched just a little bit of The Birch, and I do remember her fairly well from Good Boys, but Dash and Lily is really the first time I'm getting a full dose of what Midori Francis is capable of. She's just downright effervescent in this role. Her pep and enthusiasm really does leap off the screen, and it has the same effect on the audience as it does Dash. She really makes you want to smile, be joyful, and share your passion and enthusiasm with other people. As for Abrams, I am fairly familiar with his filmography, and that makes his work here all the more impressive. I was kind of taken aback by how nasty his character was in Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, and I guess that is one of his performances that I've seen most recently, so being able to compare something like that to what he accomplishes in Dash and Lily kind of proves he can do just about anything. He manages to justify Dash's snarky attitude, making it feel natural and endearing, less a familiar stereotype. And I also found he played off Francis's character especially well, and really both of them do that. There's a subtlety to how they transform each other over the course of the show that really contributes to making Dash and Lily feel authentic and not just like one big idealistic romantic whirlwind. That being said though, Dash and Lily does keep it pretty light. Both characters have real challenges to power through over the course of the show, but it's kind of the easy breezy version of dealing with all of that, going for the big, broad, fairly familiar messages rather than really parsing through the nuances of their situations and saying something new or unique about them. The thing is, though, it does all of that with great performances and a whole lot of energy and also so, so much heart that it really does feel like it's impossible not to fall for these characters and the relationship brewing between them. I was also really impressed by the whole structure of the show. The jumping back and forth between Dash and Lily really does play seamlessly without ever skipping a beat. It's also a very well photographed show, something that I found contributed to upping the production value big time, and almost every single frame of it just has so much depth, and that contributes to making their worlds feel real and full, and as a longtime New Yorker, that is a quality that I really did love. I'm gonna give Dash and Lily three and a half Deweys out of five on the Dewey Desk Movie Scale. Again, it's light, and my taste does make me prefer the messiness and the risks that a show like I Am Not Okay With This took, but there is absolutely no denying that there's also a very big place in my heart for charming, feel-good content like this as well. I happily blew through all eight episodes of Dash and Lily, and when it was over, I was bummed and wanted more, but also really appreciated the fact that I was left with a lasting smile and an eagerness to learn, try new things, and grow. So there you guys go. My thoughts on the new Netflix series Dash and Lily for you. If and when you check it out, hit the comment section below. I gotta know what you think as well. Before I say goodbye, we've got a big Patreon shout out here because this review comes your way courtesy of Billy. 
Billy is a longtime supporter of the campaign, one of the coolest people I know. And hey, Billy, you've heard this time and time again, but I'm telling you another time right here. And I have a feeling I'm going to tell you many more times in the future. I think the world of you, you are super cool. And I'm very, very honored to have you part of this team. So thank you, Billy. And thanks to everybody out there watching this review. Don't forget to like and share it before you leave. We'll see you soon with more of them.